Oh, I didn't bring a rain suit. <sighs> mm. Still, the funny thing about this entire situation is, before I left, sir, hey, Drew, do you need your uh, your big orange rain suit? No, 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 no. It doesn't rain down here. No, it doesn't rain. I don't know. The rainy months are like June, July, August. It's December. It's not gonna rain. They have a plethora of cactus and random disco lights. And if you need a rooster. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. All right. As you guys can tell, there's only uh, four of us this morning. Four, four people: me, Rackley, Odom, and Big O. That's pretty much the deal this morning. No one wanted to come out in the rain. Ugh. All right. I don't think it's raining that bad. Well, we are about five hours from civilization, so probably gonna wear this just in case they don't get pneumonia. You know what they're feeding on mainly uh, in this lake? Spinnerbaits? Spinnerbaits. Odom spinnerbaits. Uh, there's quite a few of them, I would assume. Yeah. Okay. And there's a there's one color that usually works better than the others here. Is it pink? And obviously, it sharks in some light. This <laughs> brings mopping the deck to another level. Yeah, takes it to another level. Takes it way to right. another level. See, this way it don't get all in your eyes, it don't get all when you're driving. We're going down that lake. This shit will get in your eyeballs. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, this is uh, good old good old Steve Parks. He's actually the guy that invented the rage tail, those things you see on the back of crawls. You ready? Hey, if it's raining, you're going to love that trash bag. Why don't you tell your friends about that trash bag? Grab you some of those heavy-duty trash bags. Do just like what you did. That's as good a this rain is, gear as you can this get. This is Steve Parks special right here. That's right. I got shoulder pads and all. Yeah. Good one? I don't know. He's behind a tree? Yeah, he's not bad. Good chop. What, six? Seven? Six? First fish? What time is it? Let's see how long it's been. It's 8.06. Yeah. 8.06 and first fish, six pounds. I would say easy. It's supposed to be like four or five with him, right? You get bumped? Oh, I guess I did. Oh! oh. I'll, give him a, I'll give him an eight for that one. I'll give him an eight. I'll, I'll give him an eight. That was a good show. That's a yo. Okay. Two is you. Ah. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. I don't have a clue. I just learned some Spanish. Some sloppy boiled bunches in there. Uh, talking about here? I haven't seen it here. Since you've been on the lake or not? Not this lake, no. That's a fish. Come on. There he goes. Oh. Come on. You just yep. Get the pressure. First fish of the day. <laughs> Knocked the skunk off the boat for me. Dude, he was not coming unpinned. This is how you want the big ones to get pinned, not these little ones. That's a big old hook in there. Gosh dang. Look at that. Get out of there. There we go. Smallest fish on this lake right there. Right. What time is it? Just so you guys are aware, it is. 9.21, it's a real, real hot day for fishing. It's been, the bite has been just fire. It's really good. We'll figure it out. I, you don't come on the water with Steve Parks and not catch giant fish, I'll tell you that much. I don't think you guys know, this guy's caught probably 100 over 14 pounds. What would you say, 100 over 14? No, not 100 over 14, <laughs> I've, I've caught probably 11 over 14. 11 over 14, just put that in perspective for a second. Let that sink in. Good one? He's pretty good. And you were wrecking it up there. Oh, yeah, he's not bad. He's got a mouth. Oh, let's go ahead and just take a step back there. Oh, nope. I'd get, I'd get the. Oh. Is there another one? There's got to be another one with him. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Old, old chunky butt. That looks like about a seven. I mean, he's thick. If you were to guess, I'm gonna say six. 6.8. We're going over to a 6.8. 6.7. 6.7? That's, <laughs> That's pretty That's good. Smart boy. Yeah, look at that. That's a 6.7 right there. Look at that. I'll at least touch it. Yeah. I can pretend like six, I'm 6.7. 6.7. Seven. Seven. I said 6.8. Six, eight. Six, eight, you, you, you can't get any closer than that. Not really, no. Well, someday I'll catch something like this. Nice fish, Steve. Old spinnerbait action. Yep. Ain't a bad. There we go. All right. 
That's what I'm talking about. Finally, I can do some do some work. Yeah, I got it, man. Thank you. Not bad. We still, I think we need sun. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree you with know, you. The brighter it gets. You notice, Rob, we just broke out of some kind of stained water right there, and when we got to this clear water, all of a sudden we started getting the bites. Yeah, no, I, I would agree with that, and they're good bites. Yeah. That's a, that's a healthy fish. Yeah. That's, that's a real healthy fish. I'm going to have to take off this top because I am now starting to profusely sweat. Just, uh, just a tad bit. You're starting to get, oh no, you're getting moist. I'm getting moist. You're getting a little moist, are you? <laughs> Oh. Come on. Come on. Now we're talking. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Don't let him get in the brush. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. He's good. We're good. We're good. All right. That's a shallow one. That's a shallow fish. This fish is pissed. <laughs> this is a piss fish. Here you go. Stout too, huh? Yeah. Stout piss fish. He's up there looking for some tilapia. and said he found a sharp hook. I'll tell you what. These Odom. Odom. Is it Old Ham or Odom? Odom. 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 That's it. Odom. Odom can make a damn spinner bit, I'll tell you what. This thing's stout as all can be. Isn't it? This is? Yes, but it's also, yeah, but it's already trimmed. See, I've already yeah, you cut, it, you cut it yeah. up, yeah. It's a Carolina rig bait, number one. Number two, it's a, it's a wonderful finesse topwater. When, when the water current hits it, it puts it straight behind the hook. Whereas if you had it turned this way, it would be below the hook. The fish is gonna come up and eat that tail. Oh, well there you go. That's the guy that created this thing. You guys just learned how to put it on. If you guys need a uh, spinnerbait trailer, I guess it really does matter. If you think about it, yeah, it does make sense because if it's facing this way, it'd push it the wrong way. Well, yeah, pull it through the water and see what yeah. you're talking about. It's kind of it's kind of a thing you kind of gotta feel. You're not just reeling it, you know, it's like do 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 through the water's like do 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 and then it's bouncing off every tree known to man. You're like, what the hell's going on down there? Do, 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 do. I saw your your gold blade flashing and then disappear. disappear yeah. Right, it's all right, little dude. You'll get bigger someday. You'll get bigger. I mean, he's a cookie cutter three. For here in Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, that's actually what we'd call small fish. That's, no, that's, that's what they call a small fish here in Mexico. Yeah, I saw your gold flashing, 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 and gone. Oh my God. I just got absolutely hammered. What is going on here, Bill? Don't wait. What is going on here? Tip it. Yeah. Tip it. Come on. Jeez, please. Oh, that fish is that fish is actually dying. That one that just splashed out there. Look at him. Right, right there, I can see him. Look at him floating. He's flopping. Look at his fin. His fin's moving. Yeah, he's still red. I think he's got a fish shoved in his throat. He's good. He's got one in his mouth. Yeah, he does. Look at that. That is crazy. Saving his life. Big O. He just absolutely crushed that tilapia. Yeah, I know. See if I can get him out of his throat. Hopefully, keep this fish alive. Got him? We'll see, Lee. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which one do you want? Now, let's see. Let's... Leave, leave, hold him down there, right side up a little while. Like that. Tilapia just took off. Come on, little man. Move his face. Move oh, he's. Back and forth like this. Hola. Yeah. Oh, come on. He just went underneath the boat. I think he swam off. Let's see here. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. Yeah, I know he swam straight down. Yeah, we're good. Hey, yeah. where'd he go, big O? Way to notice that, son. I didn't even see him. There we go. He was out here flopping around. Well, that, I've been, I fish quite a bit, and I don't, I honestly, God, I've never had to pull a big fish out of another fish's mouth. It's pretty cool. Yeah. How many times have you done it? 40, 30? Oh, but a lot. <laughs> a lot. Just imagine that tilapia's point of view. He's in there, he's in there looking at the belly of this fish like, son of a gun, what is going on? It's really dark in here, and then all of a sudden he gets just pulled out the opposite way. Yep. Whoa! There we go, focus. Hey, we're back in Texas. But I was in there hitting, I was like, you know what, we gotta do something a little bit different with this video because there was so much happened throughout the day. We saved that bass's life by pulling the tilapia out of his throat, which you just saw. I was like, you know what, we need to change it up a little bit. I need to make sure you guys see something that's kind of getting you prepped and ready for the next video. It happened in the same day, but I was like, I can't put them all in one. So here's a little bit of a cliffhanger. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. Oh my God, there's two! Oh my gosh. 
Is there gonna be a new fat dongle on the wall?